So, um, we got in a car wreck yesterday. I'm not really 100% sure how to describe what happened because first, I was asleep at first. I remember waking up to the feeling of us like hydroplaning, even though there was no rain or anything, but we just completely lost traction. Um, I just remember like bracing and all I really said was, uh, well, hold on. <laughs> and then we um, we smacked into the highway barrier, that big cement barrier. We would just hit something and then I'd notice that we're alive and then I'd be like, okay. Let's see if we survive the next one, I guess. Since I was sleeping, I had no idea how many cars were on the road, if we were about to get hit by some cars, cause a pileup. We got super blessed yesterday and somehow there wasn't that many cars. After hitting the barrier once or twice and going back out into the road, we got really lucky that the 18-wheeler that was coming right towards us just got on, so they were only going maybe 40 miles per hour, and they hit us, and then that's what sent us into the grass, I'm pretty sure. I honestly don't remember it very well. But uh, throughout the whole situation, I'd say I was pretty chill just because I noticed immediately that like, I'm okay, Lindsay's okay, her dog's okay, our kitten is okay. By the way, we, we got a kitten, um, surprise. Lindsay was kind of freaking out, apologizing a lot because she was the one driving. I'm just like, it's, it's whatever, it happens, it's not the end of the world. And uh, that gas station that we were sitting at, we had to sit there for like three and a half hours outside because they wouldn't let us take the dog inside because there was a Sonic in the gas station and they were like, no, no dog, screw you, sit in rain. But um, I'm visiting home, as you can see, that's where we were, we were about two and a half hours away from here is when the wreck happened. I have no idea how long I'm gonna be home, but I'm gonna try to vlog it. Um, it's just one of those things like you hear about someone getting a wreck, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. Uh, if they're okay, I hope they're okay. But once it happens to you, you are just put in your place. You realize like, you could just be gone. like that like you're just gone i am christian i do have a faith and uh, if anything this has made me realize i need to be both a better christian and a better person in general but that's enough talking about that um i don't know what's gonna happen today i think we're gonna lift with travis or garrett or something let's we'll see let's go oh here it comes Ew, get away from me <laughs> what what Look at him. Look at this Chad. Hoorah, soldier! Hello. Howdy. Dude, I haven't seen you in a long time. It's been a minute. Hello. Dude, I don't think I've seen you in like, <laughs> how many months has it been? I don't Five think I've seen you since months. I moved, right? Mm -mm, yeah. It's been eight I'm months. Hydro. Key card to get in. Kind of like gold. My pre work commission. Do they have water in there? <laughs> Dude, these machines are this, epic. You think the whole gym is great. This is the best part. Dude, look at that wall. This is nice. Yeah, and then you can bring your own locks for it. I actually really like it. <laughs> Free workout time. It's not terrible. <laughs> 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 Girls be like. <laughs> so like it'd still fall out. It's just too big. I mean that's true if you do proper contraction. I never, I never go past 85. Uh, this place is pretty yeah, I'm gonna do heavy, I'll do bench guys heavy. If I'm doing my body, what is that? Same brand that made, made yours. No, it has a farm in it. I liked it a lot because I liked how it had just cutting stuff. Yeah, GW and did you have S? Yeah, S. -Hormer. Mine doesn't have any SARMs in it. Oh, because you're natty. Of course. I am natty. Did you just say, can I get some stuff for some more? Bazinga. We got 185. Um, since quarantine, I've only been able to do this for a single.
arms hurt, bro. Feel good. I had a good warm up, good, good everything, bro. Just yeah, music. it was pretty epic. <sighs> How was the workout? I'm dead. It felt amazing though, since I haven't lifted in such a long time. Really good, bro. It was so nice just being in a different gym, and like no one in there. Whole different vibe. We were the alphas. Yes, we were. I enjoyed it a lot. That was a nice gym too. If you could get pregnant from an energy drink, that would be what got me pregnant. <laughs> Which one? The green monster. Bro, I had the, uh, I got the, um, it might have been mango something. But it was at a gas station. It has like a really cool can, like blue with like a bunch of like Fiesta designs or something. Oh. I'm not sure. And I was like, dang, this is really good. I checked the back, like 150 uh, milligrams of caffeine, yeah. like 44 grams of sugar. I remember like in second grade when like there was bacon everything, like yes. yeah. band aids, Bro. lip gloss. Like everything was Dude, bacon. bacon and the mustaches. <laughs> the mustache, like everything. I'm pretty sure my family's were I had two and they were like hand me downs. <laughs> I'm, I was like that kid that just couldn't afford any like cool trend way. stuff. Dude, whatever, y'all came over to my house with Corbin. Oh my Do you God. still have that video? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in right now. <laughs> Alright. Later, Gators. You gonna learn how to vlog? You gotta put your hand right there and say like and subscribe. Or you can scratch the, you can scratch it too. That that's a good, like ASMR baby. So um, I'm kind of just chilling right now. I think I'm gonna hang out with Travis and maybe see Corbin. He's been in a couple old vlogs. You might remember him. So yeah, I will keep you posted on the night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Where? Long time no see. Hey, oh yeah, brother. When was the last time? I <laughs> So, um, I guess Lindsay's going home today. She has school and she has work, so she can't really miss too many days of school, so her grandfather's gonna be driving her all the way back down to Houston today. You know, I'd say the worst thing about visiting home is probably how my allergies comes back. Well, that and my car being obliterated. Speaking of my car, we still aren't very sure um, what's gonna happen, what we're gonna get for it. Um, technically, we don't know if it's totaled, but it's probably totaled. But yeah, I am stuck here, and the thing is, I can't afford to be stuck here for very long. So I think, worst case scenario, I will be having to go back and just Uber or lift to work every day which i can totally afford i was actually supposed to close today at work and i just had to tell my manager i just can't because there's no way for me to get home i'm gonna be able to get a ride tomorrow back down there because my grandfather sees a patient in allen texas at eight and then after that he'd be able to drive me down to houston i've switched my shifts for saturdays where i'm able to close now um, i'm supposed to be in at two there's no way i'm gonna be in at that time okay so Kenny from the future, I guess. I have some good news about my car. For some reason, my mom had no idea, but we had gap insurance on my car, which means that even though insurance was not gonna give us how much we owed, the gap insurance is going to cover the rest of it, which means my car is going to be paid off after it's totaled, and we're chilling on that. So while I still don't have a vehicle or a car, I don't have to worry about me or my mother being stuck with those extra payments for a car that no longer exists. Oh gosh. Can we rinse this one out? Dumb <laughs> baby. He should be stepping in pedo. Oh, <laughs> you can smell it. Ew. Ew. Is he just dripping? Yes. It's <laughs> dripping off of him. Are these, no, don't. Where's his pits? <gasps> it's right here. Who's happening to him? Hello. Hi. 
single time. Uh, and it's usually a little cheap. I ate at the IHOP, mm -hmm. and it was the first time. Not bad. So it is now Saturday morning, um, and I finally get home today. I'm gonna go home, drop my stuff off, go straight to work, because I'm gonna be late for a closing shift. And um, yesterday, I've honestly kind of realized I'm just gonna have to get a new car. Because in hindsight, Ubering three or four times a day for a month probably is gonna cost more than a car payment. So I'm already gonna start looking, I guess. Um, it's gonna feel really weird not having my car, because that was always my car. It's the first car I've ever had. My little 2013 Nissan Altima. But yeah, um, 